This video is recorded to help my students to understand how to construct a Boolean expression from input-output table. Let's see this example from your textbook. So suppose I have an input-output table here. You have three inputs, x, y, z. Okay. Uh, uh, then for these three inputs, the output will be like this. If x, y, z are all zero, the result will be one. If only z is 1, x, y are 0, result will be 0. If only y is 1, x, z are 0, then output will be 0. If uh, y, z are 1s and x is 0, then output will be 1. So if x is 1, y, z are 0, then output will be 1. And if x, z are 1 and y is 0, output is 0. If x, y are 1 and z is 0, output will be 1. And if x, y, z are all 1s, then output will be 0. From this input output table, you also can say it's a choose table for some logic expression, obviously Boolean expression. So from this table, how do you figure out what is that Boolean expression? The idea is you will uh, look at each row, then the output is 1. Okay, then write out that rows. Uh, the Boolean expression make that row become true. Uh, become true. For example, let's say the first row. The first row has output value is one. Then how could I from x is zero, y is zero, and z is zero come up? The output is one. Well, the idea is the this Boolean expression will do it, which is not x and not y and not z. Now, this one, uh, when x equals 0, y equals 0, and z equals 0, not x is 1, not y is 1, not z is 1. So, not x and not y and not z will be 1. Okay? So, this is the idea. Now, based on this idea, if we see the next one, next one, when you have 1, is this fourth row. First row, in order to make it be 1, since your x is 0, y is 1, z is 1, will make it be 1. So you say, and if not x, right? Not x, then x is 0, not x is 1. And y, and z, because y, z are both 1. So 1 and 1 and 1 is 1. Okay? So you will use lot x here. So how about the next one? Next one, so you can see is, is x, not y, not z equal 1. Okay? That will be the, uh, for this row, if you have lot x, or you have x and lot y, and lot z, then the result will be 1. Now, so the next one you can predict for this one will be x, y, x and y, and lot z will equal 1. So exactly, because this, this value is 1, so you will have x, y, and lot z equal 1. Then you combine these four uh, together. So therefore, you will have this Boolean expression will be not, not x, not y, not z, or not x, y, z, or x, not y, not z, or x, y, not z. Those will be 1. So your Boolean expression is just this one. OK? That will be your Boolean expression. So uh, your final conclusion is your Boolean expression. Maybe I should delete this one. Okay, the Boolean. This is your Boolean expression. Okay. So if you have any questions, please give me an email.